So we're going to take a look at a radial group within a multi-field. So notice this dialogue structure. Under this uh, CQ dialogue, we have products. It's a multi-field. Then we have under items, we have the different granite types. So we have um, text field, path is a path browser, and so forth. Finally, fruits is a radial group. Underneath this is an items, it's just a unstructured node, and then under the items is the different radials. So notice Apple is a Corel Foundation form radio type. So according to your thread, you said it wasn't persisting. That's not true. So let's take a look at this um, example. So we'll refresh this page with the component on it. Notice fruit says orange. We'll open up the dialog. We'll change to Apple. Now notice it's Apple. So we'll refresh this. Open it back up. Notice Apple is persisting. And if we go into, um, we'll refresh this part here. We'll look under the, where it's persisted. Under touch, this is the page. And under the paragraph, we see first components, products, it's a multi-field, and then we have our um, item node, and then it's fruit. We refresh this, it's apple. So notice that the value is persisting, it is there, and um, it's working as expected. So make sure when you're working with a radial group that you, in a multi-field, that you set up your node structure properly. So the first thing, at the items level where all the other data types are located make sure that you're using a radial group and then under that you have items and then you have your items where each item is a corral foundation form radial group i hope this helps